Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now I just posted an update letting you guys know that I'm going to be posting some more figures because I just collected a few of them in the last couple of weeks and we're going to touch base on this in separate videos. Right now we're going to concentrate on the Puppet Master collection that I have. So far this is the complete collection by NECA that I have and I'm going to show you some one of the figures that I have. Now keep in mind because of their tiny little feet because they're you know extremely small figures they will not stand on their own and they don't have holes in the bottom of their feet to put them on a NECA stand so technically what I did is I glued mine to the stand and they work just fine because they're just for display purposes only but right now we're going to concentrate on these particular figures uh, that you see here it is the last collection so far uh, by NECA what they're releasing and stuff if they release anything else obviously I'm going to get it because I think Puppet Master is very cool. And believe it or not, there's like, I think 16 movies based on Puppet Master. These people went crazy based on that movie and stuff like that, the original movie. But anyway, we're going to touch base on uh, the Jester and Six Shooter here. But I want to show you the other figures that I have before we get into that, okay? So let's start off with the most popular one of the bunch, which is in fact Blade. Now as you can see... He is actually glued right to the stand. Alright. And he's got a different kind of head here. Alright. Let me just reposition that. So you can kind of see what he looks like. Okay. And it comes with other uh, accessories. It's got the hook. The knife. And as you can see right here. He does have another knife. Okay. So this is Blade. Just so you guys get an idea of what we're going to be dealing with here. These guys were very popular in the 80's. Okay. Let's get into Torch. He's a cool character too. Kind of like a German Nazi evil look about him. And right, he's got this flamethrower. I think that's really cool. Okay, These puppets were created and they, they came to life and everything. man. It's a very cool movie. But I haven't seen it in such a long time. Okay. Alright. Let's get into the next one here. <clears throat> this is Tunneler. <clears throat> this guy's also got like a old military look about him. Okay. And as you can see on top of his head, he's got like a drill. That's why they call him Tunneler. Sorry about that. Like I said, I gotta glue these to the stand so as you can see how small their feet are. You could possibly get them to stand, but if you walk by and vibrate slightly, they're going to fall over. That's, that's why I glue them to a stand. But like I said, they're just for display purposes only. The last one is Pinhead. He's the original Cenobite <coughs> from Hellraiser. No, I'm just kidding. He's technically not the original Pinhead because I think that came out in 1980. 81? I think it's 80 can't remember but anyway that's a very cool movie it is my all-time favorite franchise uh, pinhead is obviously very cool but anyway this is the pinhead from the puppet master series as you can see he's got some big hands too he says it's clobbering time from the thing this one's got a certain amount of weight to it okay and he's got a little tiny head Let's see what he looks like up close Oh, the shadow's in the way, hang on. Okay. But well, you get the idea, okay? But anyway, those are the four characters that I have so far. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the box art, and then we're going to take these guys out of the packages, because you know, um, when it comes to NECA, they like to really fucking put them in there, and it takes forever to get the damn pieces out. All right, so we're going to shut this off, and kind of look at the box art, okay? If there's a glare on the uh, screen... Hang on for a second. Let me see if I can just turn this a little bit. Okay. That should be a little bit better. All right. If it's not, I'm sorry about that, okay? But it should be okay for the most part. So this is the last of it that I've seen so far. All right. Puppet Master. 
Puppet Master. The back of it, as usual, has very cool looking artwork. Now you can keep these boxes if you want. I chose not to do that because <clears throat> I simply just don't have the room for them. Because I, I, uh, I had a whole bunch of Funko Pops and box art from my other NECAs. And it filled up the closet. So I got to get rid of some of these. Because right, they don't really see them anyway unless you put them on display. You know? Okay, so now let's get into the actual box. And that's six shooter right there. Okay. Very cool. And that looks like a drawer or something. Yeah. And this is Jester. And he's got a lot of accessories. Right. A decent amount anyway. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to shut this off. Pull these bad boys out of their boxes. And then we're going to take a look at them. And eventually I'm going to glue these guys to their stands. And put them in with the rest of the collection. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back, and I gotta say, pulling these uh, out of the boxes for the um, the NECA figures based on the um, Six Shooter and Jester. Six Shooter has an ungodly amount of accessories. He's got separate hands for all three of his hands here, and it also comes with guns. And I put the guns on the hands, but I was gonna make the attempt to actually put and replace these hands with the ones with the guns, but I find it when I was trying to pull it that the actual uh, ball joints that connect uh, the hands to the actual uh, arms was a little too flimsy so it was my understanding that they could easily bend if I couldn't get them into the holes properly so I'm not going to make that attempt but I am going to show you what the actual accessories look like but, in the, but before we do all that let's look at Six Shooter I think he's, he's one of the best ones here Blade obviously is the coolest one of the bunch Okay. And he's got six arms, okay. Now, this is a necker figure, but... Oh, it does come with the holes, okay. I think that's what that is. Well, the holes are not that deep. So I don't believe you can actually use a necker stand on these, but you could possibly do it if you want to stand them. Because, like I said, they are small figures, okay. All right, let's look at the back of this, okay. Alright, so, the actual uh, articulation, these arms are kind of mobile, but they do move up and down, okay, but they don't have too much flexibility, so I wouldn't recommend moving them too much, simply because they'll end up popping out of their joints. Alright, now the middle one, again, doesn't have much flexibility, okay, so yeah, you can move them a little bit, but like I said, it's really tight, so... My recommendation if you're collecting these things and it's just for show, then that's exactly what you do is just for show, okay? Now, I'm going to actually put a gun inside his uh, holster there and we'll be good to go. Uh, this particular hands, uh, these are uh, actually gloves. As you can see, you can twist them all the way around, okay? Well, that's quite obvious for all of them. They're all the same. The bottom arms, again, very stiff. Okay, the articulation for the torso, you can twist it, okay, pull it back so you can actually see it, okay, there is separate sections of the torso that, right here in this section here, it bends here and it bends here, so it does have flexibility, see, so you can pose these any way you want, okay, so keep that in mind, and it does have a certain amount of twist to them, okay, all right, and it does come with a very cool looking holster, which I'm going to put one of the guns in there. And I'll show you what those look like here. Actually, I'm going to put guns in all of them. That's what I'm going to do. All right, that'll work out for me, yeah. Okay. The boots, they're cool. All right. Let's look at his face. Okay, now it doesn't come with no other face for him. The Jester does have two separate faces. I'll show you those in a second. The hat does come off, okay? So keep that in mind. Okay. This right now, as far as I know, is the last of the collection. Unless, like I said, they come out with something else. Then obviously we're going to be doing a review on that one too when I get it. Alright, enough about the six shooter. Let's get into his accessories. Okay. As you can see right here, let's turn that up, right? Alright, 
Uh, these are his guns, okay, and it comes with the hands. So you can slip them on, but like I said, the actual nipple, sort of speaking, and it goes into the holes, is not very strong, okay? You could possibly get away with it if you hit it just right, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? Now, get off, all right. It does come with other ones. I'm going to take them apart. Okay, that's the gun, okay? And there's the hands. These are the hands that actually grip the guns, okay? If you can see it. All right, there's different hands too, so keep that in mind. And I'm going to get all of them together here in a second and show you what they look like in my hand. I just got to grab them because they're small, okay? All right, so now let's get these together. There's a lot of hands that come with this uh, six shooter. There's literally like 12 separate hands, okay? Now I'll show you what I'm talking about here. As you can see, all kinds of guns and stuff does come with that stuff, so. All right. Anyway, that's enough about his accessories. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the Jester, okay? Put that stuff over here. All right. The jester is a small figure. Okay. And his jester hat, I don't know what you want to call it, is very loose. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to show you the accessories to this as well. Okay, and as you can see, there we go. This is the jester. I like his costume. I think it's absolutely cool looking. Very cool design. I'll tell you what, NECA really has stepped up when it comes to details. SH Monster Arts, when it comes to Godzilla figures or any figures in general, they're like six inch figures and they're highly detailed, but they're like three times the price of NECA figures. Which to me don't make any sense, but it is what it is. And those are the feet. Now, as you can see, they got tiny little feet, okay? And I'm going to hold this jester cap in. And now you see, some of them don't come with those um, holes in the bottom. Okay, because, probably because of their size, okay? Here's the back of it. This is a very cool looking figure, too. And like I said, I'm going to glue these guys to their stand and put them up on the shelf with the other ones, okay? So now i got a total of six of these bad boys, okay? Now the flexibility on this thing, they do bend at the knees a little bit, as you can see. All right? The arms, they move back and forth, okay? And they move up, okay? So they do got flexibility in the shoulders. I'm going to pull the hat off, okay? And I'm going to show you the hat real quick. All right. Okay, yeah, it just sits on his head. And that's very cool looking. Nice detail. Okay, now, flexibility. The arms, obviously, they move up and they click a little bit too. They do bend at the elbows a little bit, as you can see. So he does have a certain amount of flexibility when it comes to him. Alright, they bend at the knees, as you see. The feet, not so much. They don't have flexibility, so wouldn't recommend that. The head, it does move all the way around. Hi there! <laughs> so anyway, that's the Jester, okay? And I'm going to show you the accessories here. All right. Get in there. Okay. I'm going to leave you lay there. Now. He comes with two different uh, set, separate faces. And I'll get that right. Okay, sorry. And that's what his face looks like. You can switch out the heads if you want. Okay. The next one is a yet a different uh, facial feature. If you've ever seen the movie, and these things are very cool because they do have uh, different facial features, and you see them every once in a while, I'm like, okay, that's cool. 
because they change up their facial features. Okay. On top of the head, bottom of it, as you can see, it's got a big hole. Okay. All right. Now the next thing, he's got two tiny little hands. All right. So I'm going to put them on my palms here, so you can kind of get an idea. Hang on, let me move them over here a little bit. All right, there you go, guys. And that's what those look like. Okay, and they're really small too. All right. He comes with a knife, I think it looks like. It kind of looks like a knife, a little bit. I could be wrong. If you guys know what it is, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what this is, okay? Because it does kind of look like a knife, but it might not be. It might be some sort of hook thing. Okay. Alright. This one's cool. It's like a spear type thing. detail to it too. Hang on there for a second. It's got like a little shield on it. If you can see it. Hang on, let me just get this. See that shield? It's cool. So I say they put a lot of detail into these things. Don't be popping. Right, and then he comes with a mallet or a hammer or something. It's hammer time. Kind of looks like the Lemen configuration. I'm sorry about the shadowing here. Say, <laughs> Alright. Okay. And that's pretty much it on those two particular figures. Okay, I'm going to put these guys together and put them back on the shelf. And then we're going to move on to the next video. I'm not sure which one I want to do. I'm thinking I'm going to do the Terra Toonies, uh, uh, Toonie Terrace. I keep getting that mixed up. Uh, Sam from uh, Trick or Treat, the movie that came out in 2008. Was it 2000? I think it was 2008 uh, from Michael Doherty. Uh, that's a great movie. Have you ever seen that movie? That is a very cool Halloween type movie. But anyway, I collect Sam. I got his mask. I got some um, NECA figures based on uh, Sam. And we're going to probably do that one next, okay? But in the meantime, I'm going to set these bad boys up and get them on the shelf. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the very next video.